Welcome back Focus Fanatics. In this video we will be exploring our support ticketing system. A few of you have probably already received emails with a username and password to start accessing our support system. We are now using Autotask to create, track, and close support tickets for Focus products. Autotask allows you to enter a ticket via the internet instead of just sending an email or a phone call to us. This allows us and you to have a formal record of any support incidents you may have. This means you will now have the ability to easily search your previously submitted tickets to find questions you have asked before but may have forgotten or perhaps you just want to brush up on your support skills. Additionally, we can pinpoint commonly submitted questions so we can create documentation and videos that will eventually help out other dealers. Now one other feature Autotask will allow us to do is to track dealer requests. By submitting a request with Autotask, we can now view all the features requested by all dealers and put a value on the most helpful requests. We can create surveys and polls based off the requested features and send them out in our news brief to see what features we should tackle first. Now of course this does not mean we can implement every request that is entered but now you can voice your opinion directly on how we can improve our software. Well, let's just dive in and go through a brief walkthrough on submitting a new ticket and reviewing previously closed ones. If you have not already received an email with your company's direct URL with a username and password, you will be receiving one in the next week or so. You can save this link to your desktop or your favorites and log into your company's portal directly without even having to remember your login information. Now, of course, if you're on site or not in the office, you can still navigate to focuspos.com and click on the support ticket link underneath the dealer portal option. That being said, here's a screenshot of what the support ticket link will look like. Let's just go ahead and log in and create a new ticket, and then we'll go ahead and show you how we can review our old tickets. The first thing we're going to do is enter our username and enter our password and click log in. Now let's say we have a problem with our this is make up a, a, a fake support ticket here saying our total sales our total accountable does not match our total payments. So the first thing we're going to want to do is create a new service ticket request type we'll have to select from the available options here. It'll be Focus POS Support. Priority, let's make this high priority. Ticket title, we'll say uh, Total uh, Accountable does not match total, total payments. Uh, this location, uh, daily report is having balancing problems please look into this okay so we have a brief description here we have our ticket contact which is going to be the person actually submitting the ticket and the follow-on questions it's going to say focus build version and this is simply the build version of the focus software that is currently running and this lets us track what version uh, that you have in case it's a, a bug that you're trying to report and we fixed it on another version. So this really helps us out. So we have our information here and we'll want to upload our configs and maybe a check file so we can see what's going on here. So the first thing, in order to submit an attachment, we have to save our ticket first. and then we go over here and we want to add an attachment we'll say configs let's go files to attach we'll go ahead and browse we'll go to um, right here we already ha we already have our configs all zipped up we'll say OK and we'll go ahead and attach our file and, it's, and then once it's attached you'll see it down here and we can just close. 
And so now we have an attachment over here and we can simply close it. And so that is how we submit a ticket. Once a ticket has been submitted, you will receive an email confirmation that you've successfully submitted a ticket and the people at uh, Focus over here will receive a ticket. We can assign it to the correct group of people to look at your ticket. And then every time we update it, we add a note, you'll receive another email. So you can basically check up on the status of your ticket anytime you want and look for your resolution once it has been solved. So that's all you, that's, that's all you have to do to enter a ticket. Now if you want to look at your ticket history, you can just simply click on Ticket Search. And now you'll see all our tickets over here. And if you want to look at a particular previous ticket, just click on the little magnifying glass over here. And it pulls up a little information. Uh, wondering how to set up modifier macros. And you can see where we have submitted a possible solution here. We directed you to a YouTube video. We also gave you the information how to do it if you don't want to watch the video. So that wraps it up about our support ticketing system. And until next time, fanatics, stay focused.